So two seasons ago, Chelsea won the Champions League. Actually, we can say three, but two Champions Leagues ago, we can say. Chelsea, after that, were literally finished. They sacked Tuchel, got a new owner, and yeah, they're absolutely a mid-table man, them club, we can say. <laughs> so yeah, um, so today I want to manage Chelsea. I'm gonna start this career mode, and I have three rules. These are so the first rule is that they uh, the career mode ends when I win the Champions League. The second rule is that um why did I forget how to write chess? Okay, the second rule is that every season I go trophyless. Yeah, there will be consequences, and that is, I will have to remove our best player A in our team. You. So, yeah, you don't think that's good. You really don't, and it's really not good. So, I also really want to try to balance my team with... Nothing. I was gonna say I want you to carry me, and these are not players I want. So forget that. So this team looks pretty average. I mean, there's nothing really very good about this team. This is is really average, and they've went down, very down. So, yeah, I want to try to make this team the best in the world. And with that, we need loads of signings. And loads. There's also players I want to sell, like Nkunku. He's, he's not have that much of good stats. And... I don't think if he fits in my team. There's players like Chilwell I want to keep. Instead of Levi Colwell, which I'll keep on the bench because I don't really want to keep. Actually, no, I'd rather Kukuyea or what his name is. The goalkeeper. I need a good goalkeeper. And that's about it. This team isn't really the best. So, even though these players are young, as you can see, here, look at this. Most of our players are young, apart from Thiago Silva, but then we have three players I'd like to get. Because I think I need to s just sell. Apart from Kappa, I want Kappa on my team. So I think I will put in Kunku on the transfer list. And I will recall Lukaku, ZH, and Kappa. I will put ZH and Lukaku on the transfer list, but Kappa, I want him. To be my goalkeeper. Sorry Real Madrid. But I had to do it. So yeah. It's, as I told you. I had three rules. As I said. I had that trophy list thing. Which would be bad. Third rule is. I need to have at least. Three English players. In my starting 11. So players like Cole Palmer. I don't think I want. But like Sterling. I think we can use a lot of them. Chilwell and James, if we can 
um upgrade them they could be good so i don't think there is any english players that i want to sign and the best thing is look at that budget we're getting oil money but chelsea are using this oil money to sign players like a like um Mud mudrik and mudrik has done nothing but this is another player i really like to evolve in rating so madweke um and nicholas jackson i think he could be good as a super sub for now we have lavia Badoshile. so there is players in this team Players like Wesley Fofan, I think they could be a key for our squad. And if I can get like De Sassi or Badashile to decent rating, I think we would be good for the second season because um, Silva is 38 with 49 pace, so I think I might sell him. Uh, I don't want a 49 pace center back. He could barely run. I'm sorry, Thiago, but yeah. Oh, he's still retiring at the end, so yeah, I I don't want him. Um. So I'm not gonna sign like Mbappe, cause that will make no sense. And still, like I I don't think I even have the funds. In my opinion, the defense is good, apart from Silva, which I think I want a better centre-back. For fun, I think I want to trust. Caicedo, I also like to trust. Fernandez, I want to keep. Gallagher, he's a player that I think I want him on the bench, but not to just keep on my starting eleven. And Cuckoo, as I said, doesn't fit in my, like, system. And Madweke and Sterling. I think Madweke I'll keep on the bench. I might sell Sterling and buy a better left wing. Madweke, I need a better like right wing also. Um so There is players that are on loan, like Broha and Matson, which can go up in rating, and that would be good. So now, I'm gonna put Sterling on the transfer list. If I could get 30 million for Sterling, we could get an insane left wing. And don't forget that rule of... uh. of um of the uh signings that i need to have three english players hold on why does this guy zh i just recalled him from the loan he's saying he's enjoying his football he just came oh oh but he's my captain and i'm selling him <laughs> Uh, I, I'm kind of sorry for Thiago Silva. So this season, oh, what a what an offer! That's big, Real Madrid. If I can negotiate this to like fifty million, hold on. No, nothing. I was gonna say maybe I can get swap deal maybe like 52 million oh they like lukaku they really need a striker i guess lavia no and moreira no um okay manchester's this is this does not make sense wasn't selling literally just in the city and um, uh, Chelsea wanted him. 
and he went to Chelsea and he was a flop. <laughs> That's what all Chelsea players do. So I will I want 36.6 million should be good and they want him. So now I think it's gonna get to the business. The center back. Who could we get? There is players like Bastoni or Marquinhos. But there is a certain French center back. Which I think should be great with us. And that is Rafael Veran. Oh, he's 30? No, nothing. Um, maybe I could go for like a Gabriel. He's 25. He's Brazilian. So that would be a great replacement for Silva. And I think his contract is expiring. So 54 million is what my um the guy that says what I can do. The negotiator what he is. 57 million they accept. And this is big. A great signing like Gabriel would be crucial for our team if we want to win trophies. Three years, even though he's he is kind of trading Arsenal, but I don't care. I just want him. So Gabriel has joined Chelsea. So I just went in for uh, another Brazilian from Arsenal. And I put Sterling in the deal so I could save money, which is something very good for us. Um, so thinking a bit, if I sell in Cuckoo, I could get a star striker. And with the money I'd have left, I could get a great winger. So yeah. I hope I can get something. Brentford just gave me a big offer for Connor Gallagher, which I'm gonna accept 30 million for Connor Gallagher. I don't really need him. ZH to Manchester United, another deal except I could get money for players I really don't need. And I think, yes, Lukaku has left to go to Madrid for 52 million. Which is great for us, because that's pretty much free money, I wasn't going to use Lukaku. And so does Gordon Gallagher, he's out. So, I was thinking of putting, um, Minkunku into a swap deal, and no, not scouts, uh, into a certain winger <laughs> from Arsenal uh, I'm, I'm kind of sorry for Arsenal now because I've been literally aiming for their players I'm gonna put in Kunku and 50 million no okay okay <laughs> no uh, I want to try to maybe get that down to 130 or is there players I could give? Hmm Let's just give Thiago Silva and just put the price down Because I don't need Thiago Silva. Okay, they'll take some time to think about this Okay Okay, 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 it makes sense. It's their star player. But... Unacceptable. No, it's accept... I'm okay with that. 
Bukayo Saka. It might join us. No way. And I'm still gonna have 50 million plus in Kunku plus. Okay, nice. Five years, great. Plus in Kunku and. Uh, no more Thiago Silva. That is big. Wait. Did I not even give Thiago Silva? Hold on. If I did not give Thiago Silva, that's even better. So, number one, Bukayo Saka. I did not even give Silva. No way. Now, there's one position I really, really, really need to improve. And I could maybe not improve the striker and keep him Kunku. But the center midfield position, I, I, I really need someone said of who is there. Um, Ngowinku Waku, or what his name is. And I think that... um. A good signing would be Hakan uh, Charanoglu, but how do I write Charanoglu is the worst part. You know what, I just go League Inter. League Serie A Team Inter. He, he's playing same as Inter in that like center defensive midfielder he plays the most. But on the AFC, he's mostly a center mid. And there he is. I think I could get him for, like, the money. I oh, no. Let's see. Maybe we could put Bada Shile. Or Disasi. We'll put Disasi. And... Decent 30 million. No, they won't accept. I'll put Bada Chile and I'll put 34 million. Nope. We'll search for another midfielder, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think first I have to just. Sell in Kunku, and I've still not got an offer. I think I should improve that center mid spot with a swap deal with in Kunku because if I have no striker, I have um, what his name is Jackson. Um, I feel like we could, we should do it. Um, hmm. Uh. Darwin Nunes, that would be an insane signing. But for um Darwin and Chalanoglu, which I really like for my team, I need to sell Nkunku. And to sell Nkunku, it's probably going to be very hard. And if it's going to be very hard, I'm probably not going to sell him. Um, I don't want in Kunku. I don't think he's that good for his rating. Who is Williams? No. Okay, let go. I don't care. Fuck. 
Fofana, Wesley Fofana. I mean, I wouldn't say I won't trust the Bada Chile. If I could get like 35 to 40 million, I might be happy with that. I'm gonna go for 37.5 million. They accept. I could trust Bada Chile. No, and yeah, I don't want him just to get him. Um, this is bad. The league's almost starting. Okay, Wesley Fofana. They really want Wesley Fofana, but I'm sorry, Fiorentino, not for Biragi. No. Let's see who they have. Nope. Um. Thirty-five. Okay. If we could sell him quickly, I could get at least Darwin. I mean, um, go. Go and go. Come on, come on. I might get these two brilliant signings. Trevor Chalaba? No, I want him for my like bench. But thinking a bit, if, I, if I'm gonna put in Kunku, I want a better player. So. Yeah, I want players like, I don't know, who could I get? Um, I'm just thinking for strikers, and I'm also trying to search for like, midfielders or strikers. I was actually thinking about um Grimarash. Yeah, this is the man, not Chala. And still, he would be about that price of and Kunku. No? Why do they not want Nkunku? Who's a good striker? Like, who's a good striker? This could be something good. Marcos Llorente. But, if I want... Marcos Llorente, I want a very star striker to swap. Um, and I think that striker could be a man that I'm really loving with Inter this season. He's being incredible. There he is. I don't know if I can afford this. But if I can. This would be incredible. No, I can't. I don't think I can. And Konku. And put like. 10 million. Let's put 15 million plus in Kunku. 58 million plus in Kunku. No. Let's just try to use the money I have. 
to get your rent. That's what you put him at your market value. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I give up. I, I literally almost. I'm gonna give up. Um. I hate these managers. Uh. What am I gonna do? James Madison. No, yeah, forget that. Couldn't Xavi Simmons be an insane fielder? No way, he's on loan. Um, Diaz, Brahim. Where is Diaz? Brahim Diaz. Not Luis. I have to write Brahim. That's so complicated. I mean, he is good, and I th think I could put Caicedo. in that center mid spot and they like this offer i think it's wait no i think it's too much isn't it yeah i i know i don't want him i want him but i think that's way too much i offered way too much and i don't want to go under money Oh no, I have a big problem. Couldn't Declan rise we go? If I get this signing, I'm just saying Arsenal fans will want to kill me. If I get this, Arsenal fans will literally want to kill me. Okay. Imagine I got that. But okay. Declan rise, another no. Couldn't Neymar be a good signing and like put him in the cam spot? Wait, 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 Neymar. This is how is he 85 million? He's barely been playing. If I can get this signing, this is going to be the best signing in history. Just saying. I'm going to try to make this though. If I can get. I know it's Neymar. Yes! Let's go! I, I, I'm gonna get him. Neymar coming to Chelsea? After so many players, I think you probably hated this video. Because I've been waiting way too much for like finding someone. No, 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 I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm still gonna get Neymar, I'm telling you, I'm still gonna get Neymar. I'm gonna give him 5,000 euros per week. More. And Wesley Fofana's out. Okay, 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 okay. 35.7 million. I'm gonna try to do something here. Mauro Gusto is also out. We've got some good money. And David Washington. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, this is good. I think we might have a lot of money. Okay, yes. Neymar is gonna fit that camp spot. But for now, so I want this formation. So just as normal 4, 2, 3, 1. I play him there like this. Yeah, I'll just say that these are wingers. 
for now, I'll just buy a striker, play in Kunku at that cam spot. So then when we get Neymar, we'll play him at cam. I think this is good. We'll buy a great striker though. That's what I really need to do. And that is how I should use the money I have for a brilliant striker. I don't know. Who could I get? So, this is a player I'm thinking has been so good this season for Inter. Marcus Turam. But I don't know what he's worth, so I don't know. So that's a no. A Griezmann? Is he too much? Yes, he's too much. Um... Who could I get? So this came to my mind. Louis Openda. This guy is a beast. I was thinking about Alexander Isaac, but when I was about to just go in and sign him, Louis Openda came to my mind. And for a striker that is 83 rated, 93 pace, Decent shooting, decent dribbling, decent physical, uh, decent play styles as you can see there. And he's only 23 years old, 83 rated. He can grow to 93 in like two to three seasons. And I could get him for like 65 million. That would be a steal, in my opinion. They takes 68. I'll just remove the set on clothes. 71. Okay. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, re I'll really take it. Because now I think we have the funds to get Neymar. Give the contract they want. Um, and everything that they want. I'm done. Now, Louis Openda's agent hates me. What do I need to do? 10,000 euros per week more? Do you know what? I'm not going to sign anyone else. I'm just going to play this game versus Liverpool. Come on. I, I, I cannot. I cannot. I'm done. I don't know, man. Everyone hates me. I'm going to play with this team. With Gungu. It's the last game. Because of Neymar, the man who's going to be signed, and the man himself, Openda, another guy that should be signed. This Liverpool team is going to be very hard to beat. Here it is, we're in Stamford Bridge versus Liverpool for our very first game of the season. In concludes. First and last game, because I believe this season was the season that Chelsea bought him. So yeah, I'm just gonna sell him because I don't care, and I want open the Neymar, which, in my opinion, is very good. So let's go. This is gonna be a tough game, a very tough game. And McAllister. Finding Robertson. Liverpool already attacking. Nunes, great save by Kepa. And that should be a foul. Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo, Saka, who's making his debut. Chelsea are going to be. Liverpool, sorry, is going to be a very hard team to beat. Obviously in our first game, that's already a yellow card for Caicedo. But I, I had to do that tackle. Saka, going from the right. Turning into the left, past Robertson. 
sucker. Go sucker. Oh, what a save by Allison. And I know how to take corners. Cross for Martinelli. Oh, that's a corner. What is it throwing? Corner it is. Martinelli. For Nicholas Jackson, maybe. And Kunku. Oh, that was a big chance. Martinelli. Saka. And get to it. The Sassi. On Kunku. Should I literally keep him, Kunku? I don't think. I think Neymar should be a better signing. And with Neymar, we could have three to four years with a brilliant can. I think Nkunku is not good enough. He's, he's not been very good. His pace and dribbling isn't that good. He's got a good shot on him, though. Oh, but Zara. Leads the game for Liverpool, and we're already 1 0 down. As I said, Liverpool is a tough game, and I really needed those positions to be improved. Good striker and the cam spot, but we can improve the next game. And don't forget the trophies rule, and that's a rule that I'm scared of for this season. Because I don't think we can, we have enough to win a trophy. Maybe a Carabao Cup or something. But I don't think we have enough to win the Premier League. As Liverpool have opened us up for Nunes. Kepa makes the save. As now Martinelli, the former Arsenal man, does well to find Saka. And Saka. Is he gonna have a goal? That was a great block by Matip. Martinelli. Maybe to Saka. In Kunku. Nicholas Jackson couldn't get it. This is a big chance for his James. Mikhail Saka. Fernandez. No, that's Jackson. Oh no, Enzo. That might be yellow. It's not, but that's a warning for a yellow card. Guys like said, oh, Martinelli. Saka. Loses the ball, but Kaizedo gets it back. Now in Kunku. We win a throw in. Saka. In Kunku. James. Ma Martinelli, no, that's in Kunku. Martinelli, in Kunku, sorry. I keep saying Martinelli. Come on, what am I doing? What was that shot? No, 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 James, don't leave them open. Oh no, I, <laughs> I know I might be a red card here, yellow card for these James. What am I doing? I'm not very confident with this team, I'm making those tackles. I'm getting frustrated, man. This first half has been dominated by Liverpool, by us. But Liverpool got up and scored. Nkunku. Bukayo Saka. Oh my. Nkunku. What are your runs? This is a big chance for Luis Diaz. Great save by Kepa. He keeps us in the game. And that's a chance. Saved by Kepa. Maybe I could do a substitution. I, I think I need a fresh leg. Um. Hmm. I think I really need to improve the striker and the cam. They're just not good enough. Doesn't make sense, but 
Jackson off and Kunku up top and put a player like what nah no I think I'm gonna keep it the same and now Martinelli from the left trying to go in the inside to get the finesse shot but man Liverpool are playing better I cannot get away to get past the defense that was a big mistake by Liverpool as in Kunku gets through and Kunku scores in his probably his last game for Chelsea FC and at least I get a goal in the first game I am coaching Chelsea you can say and this is a big chance already for, Ch Ch for Liverpool to get back in the lead Salah and that was great defending by Chilwell Martinelli how is Joe Gomez not letting Martinelli pass no 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 great save by Kepa Kepa has saved us again no no oh my god Kepa I did so well to just recall him from his loan he has literally saved us this whole game Van Dijk again Kepa he's probably the best player in the team right now no 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 Gabriel bully him great save again by Kepa oh Kepa you're the goat Jota is on oh no I don't like that go on and Gunku man and Gunku's just not quick he's slow for a player like him he should be crazily quick his dribbling isn't it neither but this is a big chance for Liverpool Gabriel sliding tackle keeps us in and now Bukayo Saka this might be the chance and Saka gets the space he gets all of the time he needs to find a cross for Nicholas Jackson but that is crazy good defending by Liverpool and now no 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 this is scary this is very scary no 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 not now not now I've been defending well and that would have been a penalty in either way no man Jota has scored for Liverpool and we get Kukurelia on now Martinelli great dribbling but Van Dijk is a literal rock at the back great there now Bukayo yes Saka yes but Saka okay not Saka I mean Liverpool are defending so well no 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 Kepa again Liverpool take it short I think the only way is for us to counter attack and score which is very hard to do but Saka has got the pace Saka really has the pace to get past Robertson come on Saka 
Yes, Bukai Osaka. No, no. Yes, Saka. No, that was so close. Kaisedo. Bukai Osaka. No way. No one. Come on, Gabriel Martinelli. Takes it. Corner. Again. No, man. Liverpool are so lucky they have Alisson. No way. No way Alisson is saving all of these. <sighs> Liverpool was a hard team to beat. I said from the beginning. I really did. And... That is the worst thing possible to start with. We have not won our first game. But I really hope that can change. Now, I think it's the time to buy the players we need. Neymar. We have to get him. Come on, in Konku. With. Can I just do it with just in Konku? And 11 million. Okay. Neymar Jr. I'm just gonna up his wage a lot. Like 140 or something. Okay, that's good. No release clause and 140, so he doesn't reject. I, I'm done. What do you want, Neymar? Do you want my my kidneys, bruh? I I don't know. Do you literally want my kidneys and organs? What do you want, Neymar? Come on, I'm gonna quick sim against West Ham. And Nkunku got us the win. I mean, I don't know how, but he did. Nkunku has saved us. Even though I don't want him. I, I, I don't know how to play with him. He's kind of bad. In my opinion. Even though he scored the goal. I can't get used to using him. And that's it. I'm just going to play his... Pay up and does release clause. If this doesn't work, wait. I'm I'm gonna have to do it. <sighs> now that is was my fault. Eighty million for a panda is just not enough. I'll quick send this. And I literally just got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. Oh no. It's... No, but it's not my problem, man. No, man. We still lost, so shut up. As the loot in town have more points than us. Bruh. Come on. Yes, Nicholas Jackson got us the third goal. And I think now I should buy a Neymar. And. Madweke. Option. What? Oh yeah, because I got him to winger, so he can just upgrade his rating. I'm not doing this, no. Now, it should be the time for Neymar Jr. to join. Come on. In Kongu. And 10 million. Come on. 
wait 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 i'm gonna accept it but how did they offer the price look if neymar does not accept it now i'm gonna give up okay i'm gonna accept it that was way more than i expected but neymar jr joins inter no chelsea i'm just saying inter because we're leading 2-0 <laughs> against salernitana um luz openda come on now you're the man 65 million what I'll offer Nicholas Jackson for you and 55 million okay he takes it now Luis Openda to join Chelsea and I'd be done with signings and done with money I can say Do you know what? I'm gonna accept this. A 131 million release clause. That's good because if we get like someone to buy him, 131 million, I'm gonna be rich and I'm gonna buy a crazy striker for a replacement if that would happen. Now that is the team. I think this is better than ever. I just changed Chelsea in my opinion and I've got them to the best team they could have been in a while. And Neymar now is at Chelsea. Something that I would have never expected. And I'm gonna change him to a cam. Which in my opinion makes sense. No, I'm not gonna accept. And I'm gonna skip deadline day. So, guys, with all of these signings, I'm gonna end the video there. Now, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.